The streamline or arrow position is the most hydrodynamic position a swimmer can achieve in the water. In this video, I will teach you how to adjust your body position to maximize your swimming efficiency and speed. In addition to test the skills you've learned, we'll do a body position test at the end of the video. I will also invite you to participate in an exciting challenge that will test your skills. So get ready to discover the feeling of being effortlessly transported through the water with the streamlined position. I am Rafa Toriano, and this is Efficient Swimming. Hi swimmers, as we saw in previous videos, to swim more efficiently, faster and with less effort, it is much more important to eliminate resistance to progress by improving body position than focusing on the strength of the embrace and power of the kicks. It is much easier to give continuity to a body that is in motion, even increase its speed. However, if the starting speed is slow or you start from a very static position, you will consume a lot of energy to start generating displacement. It is as if we were in a boat starting from a static position. It takes a lot of effort in the first few strokes. But once the boat is underway, there is already an inertia. It is much easier to give it continuity, even to increase its speed. To achieve the streamlined position, we first have to anchoring of the hands. The goal is to get a perfect position in the water, to penetrate the water with as little resistance as possible. The locking of the hands is as if there were a lock, the thumb is anchored on the hand that is below so that we can extend the arm well without resistance. The next step is to bring the shoulders and elbows together behind the head. This part is very difficult because many people do not have enough mobility to be able to do it, but we will make a small adaptation. For those who lack mobility, we can adapt it and close it at the height of the head. It does not need to be back, but at the same height, always bearing in mind that it will not be as hydrodynamic as the more closed position where the arm is behind the head. The second adaptation we can make for people who are not able to lock their arms in here would be to work at shoulder line in the Superman position, which we have seen in many videos. This position encourages strokes in front of the shoulder, which is quite important for swimmers. And we can gradually improve the flexibility and mobility of the shoulders to narrow these exits more. The next step is to bring the legs together and place the feet on tiptoe. In addition, for the position to be correct, we need a good core activation. The most important thing is to tighten the buttocks a little bit and activate the abdomen well to stabilize the center of the body so that we can maintain a firmer form during the movement. Now to evaluate the efficiency of your streamlined position, we will do a small test. The objective is to evaluate the position of minimum forward resistance after propelling yourself from the wall and see how many meters you can move your body without making any movement simply by adopting the position. If you get less than 5 meters when propelling yourself from the wall, it means that your hydrodynamic position is still deficient. You need to review the key points we discussed earlier and make a slightly stronger push off the wall. If the thrust goes from 5 to 8 meters, it means that the position is already good. But if you want to improve it, you can still activate your glutes and abdomen a bit more and make a slightly stronger thrust from the wall. If your push-off is more than 8 meters, you already have an excellent hydrodynamic position. You can continue to work on the key points until you have the position well internalized. Now I will invite you to participate in an exciting challenge. But first I want you to see how many thrusts I need to cross 25 meters in streamline position.
As you can see, I managed to move 25 meters with only two impulses. The challenge is to move 25 meters with as few pulses as possible. You have to take advantage of every centimeter. It doesn't matter if the body goes very, very slowly. As long as there is a forward displacement, we maintain the position and hold our breath. Let me know in the comments how many strokes you get in 25 meters. If the pool where you are working is very deep, you can simply tell me how many meters you get with the first impulse from the wall. I look forward to your comment. In summary, this position significantly reduces the resistance to progress, especially at the start where the first strokes will have inertia and we will not have to make an effort to accelerate the body. Keeping the body in motion will always be much easier if it is already in motion. If you are an open water and long distance swimmer, working on this technique in the pool will help with your sliding sensations between strokes. In the following videos, we will learn how to maintain this hydrodynamics and glide between strokes, thus avoiding forward resistance while swimming. I hope once again that this video has been helpful, and if so, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe with the bell on. See you in the comments and in the next video, and remember, I will not rest until you are an efficient swimmer.